Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Tokes Beverly Coker with Hands of Light. And today I wanted to talk about smiling and joy. To smile and to smile from your heart, to smile from your soul, to smile through your eyes, to smile through your lips, your mouth, to smile in your face. It's a very deep process. And I'm talking about smiling when you just sit down with friends and you just smile. When you sit down with people and they just bring out a joy and a happiness in you. You don't have to have known them for a long time, but they're just some people that make you smile. They're just some people that make you feel special. They're just some people that make you feel like smiling. And not smiling like this, but smiling. Your whole face lights up. Your eyes sparkle. Your mood changes. There's no reason why you're smiling. You're just smiling. And you think, why am I smiling? Or you think, why? Are you not smiling? <laughs> so I was asked, Tokes, you're smiling a lot. Why, why are you smiling a lot tonight, today? Well, yesterday, I got a parking ticket. <laughs> I have to learn about parking properly. I am, after all, in London, and sometimes you think it's safe, and then you get caught out. And I smiled. Somebody, I was driving and somebody knocked on the uh, front of my windscreen. And I saw who's knocking on, and then he picked up the parking ticket that was on my screen. I hadn't seen it. And then he, I thought, what's going on? I opened my door and said, and he gave me the ticket. He says, you have a ticket. <laughs> now, if he hadn't stopped me, and he hadn't knocked, and if he hadn't knocked, on, on my window, I wouldn't have seen it, could have flown off. So here I am driving and a good Samaritan comes and says to me and takes away the parking ticket on the front of my car and gives it to me. And I said, well, thank you. And I smiled. I mean, I didn't like the idea of getting a parking ticket. I thought I'd, it was a glorious day yesterday. I thought I'd done all the right things. I thought I'd parked to the right. I was so proud of myself yesterday, driving and parking and parking. I went to three separate places and I parked each time. But you know, when I looked at the ticket, I realized it was my first place. It was, and it was the second place. So my first place, I parked very well. The second place, I thought I'd mastered the art of parking, but I hadn't. And the third place, I parked very well. So I just smiled and I thought, well, I have more to learn. I have more to understand this. And I thought, okay, I'll smile. I can get angry, but I'll smile. Because sometimes smiling through it all, smiling through the, the pain, or the annoyance, or the mistakes, is better than being angry, because I still have to pay the parking ticket. Whether I'm angry or not, I have to pay within the time scale, or I pay a bigger figure. So I thought, well, I'll action that on another day. Uh, but before I get the big fine, I will pay half of it. So I smiled at that mistake that I made. And I didn't blame myself for making that mistake. I said, just, I, I need to learn more. So smiling at your mistakes and saying, I need to learn more is uh, important. So yesterday was a very crucial day on many levels. It was the first time I was going to my friend's house to chant. And she'd been chanting for a while, but I'd never been able to go and chant with her. And um, normally, we'd go and chant with her. 
And she'd been chanting for Patrick since he passed away in June. And I wouldn't go. But yesterday, I got up, I got in my car, had a shower, made myself look beautiful. Yes. And I chanted. And I felt free. And I cried, but I felt really good, and I smiled. I smiled through those emotions, and I was like, wow, the smiling. That was my first smile. But the first was getting up, taking the action myself. I was like, the old me was coming back and is back. And I thought, wow, little aspects of me are coming back together. I'm sharing this intentionally for those who may be in similar situations in different ways and sharing this so you know how to work with it for yourself. Yeah. I am a practitioner and I've been doing this for years. If I want to be able to teach and show you how to live or how to be happy, I am sharing with you how I am working on being happier. So I got my smile back, the smile that smiles from my heart, the smile that smiles through my eyes. So the next activity was to go and see a gentleman to get a program for me to start exercising and be part of the group. And it's free, so I got it free through my doctor. So I thought, okay, eight or 12 weeks. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to tone up in eight, I'm going to take a picture of before and then take a picture in my after the eight week, and then I'm going to share that. I'm going to share what I've achieved in those exercises. Watch this space. <laughs> I'm really excited. So, do you have something where you're going to sort of redefine your physical body, your emotions, your anchoring, and doing something different and something new? So that was my first smiling of joy. My third visit was, I suddenly had an urge to visit a friend of mine I've known for years. And I phoned her, I said, are you home? She said, yes, Beverly, what are you doing? I said, I'm near you, I want to come and I'm driving towards you. And she said, yes, we're home. And I arrived and there she was with her family. And it was auspicious because normally her daughter was in there and she was there. Normally she's busy. But somehow the universe enabled me to sit and I was smiling. And members of friends came in that I know very well and was, I hadn't seen them. And we, we had a laugh. We talked. We solved the problems of society. And what was so nice was I was smiling. And the mother said, listen. And her daughters made a statement. We were talking about relationships and going out with various men. What, what is the process, this generation and the older generation? And my point of view was quite um, extreme and quite um, different. And the mother said, gosh, she explains it much better. And I said, please feel free to talk and call me. Anytime, I said, because you see, sometimes you may have people you want to talk to and they're too close, but you can't tell them everything. So I said, well, I'm the person you can call. And the daughter said, but my mummy won't like it if I call you. And I said, your mummy will like it if you call me in front of the mother, because she'd rather you call me than make a mistake and do something. And the mother said, yes, please call her. And I realized, and I said, I realized something. But my friend has known me for many years, and I was smiling. And she said, Beverly, it's so nice to have you smiling. And this is so nice to see you. I'm, my daughter's getting married. You've known this family for such a long time. And you, you, you've been there for us for so many years. And her daughter looked at me and smiled. And I thought, 
when you smile from your heart and when you have kindness, when you are processing your own process and interacting and you're being real, not pretending to be strong, being real, the universe hears, people see, prayers get answered. It may take a while, as you know, the lotus flower seeds and blooms in muddy water. So what is a muddy aspect of your life? Now are you blossoming a lotus flower on this glorious Sunday? So that was another smile. And then the next thing I knew was I got a text from a friend of mine. And I thought, wow, this is interesting. And then I got an invite to go out and meet some friends of mine. I thought, wow, what's, this is such a magical day. I, I haven't planned anything. The universe has planned it for me. But don't forget, I didn't get a ticket. <laughs> a pocket ticket. So I thought, okay. And I'm just smiling through everything. And I met up with my friends. And my smile got wider and wider and wider. It was a day of smiles. So by the end of the day, my smile was oozing out of each of my pores, every pore. My smile was so wide. My eyes were sparkling. They were twinkling. I'd never seen them twinkle so. I don't know if you can see them twinkling. If I could bring in that energy of the smile. I was smiling and smiling and smiling. And I was talking and talking and talking. And everyone was listening and listening and listening. And everyone was sharing and sharing and sharing. The whole day was a day of joy and smiling and healing and freeing through the energy vortex of smiling and sharing and listening. And I was like, wow. I was magnified by the energy of the smiling from my heart, from my soul. The soul in me greets the soul in you. Yes. The soul in me greets the soul in you. My soul greets your soul. My soul smiles at your soul. Can you feel that smile? Can you feel the sparkle in my eyes? <laughs> Perhaps I need to open my eyes wider. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think what's so important here is working with the energy of smile to heal you, to empower you. You know, the easiest way to work with the energy of smile and the joy of smiling is to be in an environment where that smile radiates. So there's laughter, just laughter, cracking jokes. There's laughter of just sharing moments. There's laughter of just being in the company of people who love you truly, who care, who listen. And I'm not talking about the care of just, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm talking of a care that is so deep, that is beyond this life that is a soul care that comes from a deep knowing. And if that's all I get, and I never see any of these people again, and I never go and visit them again, and I never speak to them again, yesterday is a moment that says, enough. I had enough. I have enough. Their memory and my interaction with them is enough. Thank you, universe. I could say I want more, and I'd open to more. The universe has given me this ability. And I thought, suppose I never have this again. I never see them again. I never go and visit them again. And I heard in my heart, Tokes, it will be enough. You have the memory for life. No one can take that away from you. No one. And that memory, that feeling will carry you through. And I thought, wow, it's quite powerful, it's quite intense. 
So where are you in your life? Smiling and capturing a moment and feeding that memory in your cells, in your muscle, so you can draw on that memory of positive energy. And let it spread around you, and the essence of you, and feel that core essence. Now, isn't that wonderful? I think that's wonderful. So here is to you having a smiling day, no matter what. <laughs> really feeling that energy of warmth and having a smile that radiates through all your pores, radiates through all your beings, radiates so you replace the sadness with a smile. You replace your moment of anger with a smile. You replace the grieving with a smile. And it doesn't really matter what the reason is. You just feel yourself smiling and allow the smile to serve your soul, to serve you, to love you. So we smile because we're smiling at joy. We smile because we're healing aspects of our soul, healing aspects of us. And through the smile, through the interaction with humanity, with people, you're feeding your soul. Your soul is being fed and you're smiling. You're smiling. <laughs> you're smiling. And you're smiling. And smile with me. Smile, keep smiling. Smile through the pain and release and just concentrate on one person and then add another person and add another person. And each time, each person makes you smile. Someone said to me, you are like a cherry on the cake. And I said, we are all cherries on this beautiful cake, the cherry on the cake. Smile will be that cherry on the cake for someone and for yourself. <laughs> so today is about smiling. <sighs> And perhaps you're finding it difficult to smile and you want to smile. So I'll give you an exercise. So turn away. Turn away. And then breathe in and then just breathe out with your mouth open and let go any frustration. You send it to Mother Earth. Mother Earth takes it and transforms that poison. You smile. And you breathe in. And you smile. And you breathe in. And you smile. And you breathe in. So the smile is like an ecstatic smile. It is a radiant smile that oozes through your pores and oozes through you. Welcome to the alchemy of smiling. Welcome to the alchemy of joy. Welcome to the alchemy of you, where you transform your alchemy into joy, into smiling, and inviting more smiles into your life. Smile for you from the depth of your soul, from your pores, from your organs. Smile at your heart. You feel your heart smiling at you. Smile at your lungs 
and feel your lungs smile and beckon. Smile at your kidneys and feel your kidneys. Smile at your ovaries and feel your ovaries smiling at you. Smile at your liver and feel your liver smile. Smile at your spleen and feel your spleen smiling at you. Smile at your body. Feel your body smiling back at you. Smile at your skin and feel your skin. And smile at your eyes and feel your eyes smiling back at you. <laughs> and smile at your lips. And feel your lips smiling back to you. Could you last smile at yourself and smile with your body? Smile at your blood. And feel your blood smiling back to you. Smile at your veins and feel your veins smiling back to you. Smile. At your bones and feel your bones smiling back at you. Smile at your joints and feel your joints smiling back at you. Now you may be in pain, but through beginning to smile, you may have arthritis, you may have a broken heart, you may have a heart condition, you may have hidden thing. You may, you may have something wrong with your liver. But by smile and by smiling at your liver, smiling at your kidney, smiling at your heart, you begin to bring in some healing. And sometimes that energy of smiling, bringing something divine, really transforming that pain into, into tears of joy. And then tears of smiles, smiling tears, and then smiles of healing smiles, holy smiles. So here we're talking about smiling that's holy and sacred. And we've just finished the 11-11 portal. And then we had 11 days after. And then what did you do on the 23rd? So the 23rd of November for me is a day where I was smiling. A lot has happened in your life. So how about giving yourself the gift of smile, the gift of inner smile, the gift of inner joy, the gift of you honoring and loving you, the sacred holiness of you, the sacred smile of you, Go back if you're just joining. Thank you all for joining. I can see you all. Barbara, Carly, IQ, Anastasia, Eva, Ivana. A few of you have come in and gone, and I know you're coming back. Thank you for being here. So I smile to the essence of you. The essence of my soul smile greets the essence of your soul smile. It is with joy that I greet you, smiling with my heart, smiling with my mouth, smiling with my eyes, and smiling with my heart. I greet you, I greet you, I greet you. And you go and smile for other people today. And bring the gift of smiling into your heart, into your life. Can you feel me smiling? Can you feel my pores smiling? Can you feel me oozing with smile? <laughs> ah. 
So for those of you who want to get the 11-11-11 meditation, I will put the link below so you can get it. It comes with 40 pages of work and a homework. So it's, it's a three hour exercise. It's quite deep and we go through the workbook. And then you have your 11 days after to complete the workbook. So you can do it anytime that you want. I've anchored and I've put that energy into that portal. So feel free to get yourself that 11, 11, 11, 11 meditation that I did on the 11th, which comes with 40 pages of a workbook, which is quite intensive. And capture that energy to help bring in the smile. So I think that's important. So I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to working with you. Okay, and uh, before I forget, the new moon in Sagittarius is on the 26th of November. This is the day of the covenant according to the Baha. So I will be doing a meditation on Zoom, as usual, uh, where I'll create a portal. So I invite you to that. I'll put that link as well below. And um, let's continue smiling. We have just a few days left of 2019. Let's start putting smiles into our words, into our actions, into our soul, into our pain, into our suffering, into our health, into our sense of failure, our limitations and our doubts. Let's transform, let's just go, okay, but today I'm going to smile at my fear. I'm going to smile at my pain. I'm going to smile at my suffering. Because after a while, we need to start smiling. We need to transform. We need to make an alchemical transformation. We need to make a choice, a decision. Enough is enough. Let's embrace. Let's embrace and do something. Because if the smile starts with you, you have no time to be angry and look for resentment and look for revenge because the smile will create a global reflection a ripple effect in your life and in other people's lives where you can bless and adorn them so today who will you smile at apart from your first self so the first person you smile at is yourself Go back and listen to this recording and do the exercises of smiling so it can help you to learn to smile at yourself. And throughout the recording, please just smile. Keep practicing smiling. Keep practicing smiling. <laughs> at first, it may be uncomfortable. It may not be real. But as you practice daily, you'll begin to feel the holy, what I call the sacred smile, the holy smile. The smile that is just there, that radiates, radiates right from deep within the essence of your soul. Can you feel it? Can you see it? So I'm now going to demonstrate. So here am I. Now, remember the exercise? <laughs> ah, so nice. Did you feel that? Did you practice it with me? Hello, Monica Rodriguez. Hello, Fiona Wright. Thank you for being here. So smiling. 
How can you smile and create an alchemical change? How can you smile and turn the poison into medicine? How can you smile at your organs? How can you smile at yourself? Can you hear the siren <laughs> coming to your rescue? The smiling energy is coming to your rescue to save you. Smiling is important to help you get better, to help you get well, to help you come to terms that you are worthy of love and light and smiles. You're worthy of joy. You're worthy of good health. You're worthy of life. And for some of us, we may be transitioning and we may be leaving to go to a different portal. And we smile because as we journey to this new portal, we smile even more. <laughs> some people say we are in a better place when we transition. I don't know that statement. <laughs> I feel when we transition and we are no longer here in this vehicle body, this masterpiece of our physical body. We leave it with grace, with a smile on our face. And we transition and a smile and a new journey, a new portal of grace and love and power. And for those left behind, we smile at the transition and we begin to honor and reverberate with the energy of a smile. I'm not talking about laughter, ha, ha, ha. I'm talking about a deep inner smile that no matter what is happening around you, that smile is deep. It is a holy, sacred smile. It is a note of resonance. It is a smile. It could be the Holy Spirit in you. It could be the God in you, the Saraswati in you, the Koine in you. It could be Jesus Christ and the Lord and Adonai and Allah. What is that sacred holy smile? For me, it is a soul smile. It is beyond all dimensions. So yesterday I was smiling into people's eyes. I was smiling from my soul into their soul. I was greeting them from my essence to their essence, and they felt it, and I felt it when they, I said, you do it, you do it to me. And they did it back to me. It was a wonderful experience as we were locked through our eyes. We were smiling through our eyes. We were smiling through our souls, through our bodies. Even the way we sat and we stood changed because the energy of the smiling took over and we, we all parted, every single person I parted with yesterday was a smile, a joy, a resonance. I went to bed smiling. <laughs> I sat in my flat smiling, deep smile. So this is something I'm going to be practicing and teaching more with my clients because I've experienced it and I'm experiencing it in my pain and I'm seeing how it works and what works. So when I am working with my clients, I am channeling what works, what's been experienced, what I have learned over the years. So these are real practiced vibration of helping them. It's intuitive. I am a soul communicator. I am a soul alchemist. I am an alchemist, transforming and creating happiness and joy and smiles. Again, smile with me. So bring in and smile. Smile at your eyes and feel your eyes smiling back at you. Smile. So I'm going to give you an exercise. I smile out, and then I turn my eyes into my eyes, smiling at you. <laughs> it's a bit advanced. I teach this in some of my workshops. 
might look me too old. Uh, make sharp and cheap. My 11-11 exercises, my moon meditations, different things. How are you smiling at yourself and smiling at your essence? So today, this wonderful Sunday, this soul Sunday, let it be a soul smiling Sunday. <laughs> so maybe I should start something with a soul smiling Sunday and say something about smiles. I think that would be great. So here is our soul smiling Sunday. <laughs> I think I like that. You like that? A soul smiling Sunday. Would you like me to do that on Sundays? We do soul smiling Sundays. S soul, S smiling, S Sundays. I like that. <laughs> So this is an idea of what we'll be doing on a soul smiling Sunday. We'll be activating the smile from deep within us. We'll be doing very simple exercises. Perhaps it's not this long. <laughs> but really, I, I just felt this energy. And it's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased I can maintain this energy. We've been going on for 36 minutes. And I'm maintaining this energy from something that started with the 11-11 and then 11 days in doing the exercises in the workbook. That is quite powerful manifestation. So please join me. I'll share the link below and do that 11-11 workbook of 40 pages. And tell me how you activated the smile, and that smile is really deep in the essence of you. And join me on the new moon on Tuesday when we gather again for another gathering. And this time it's a new moon in Sagittarius. So we'll be working with the bow and arrow. What will we be aiming at with this new moon? Yeah? Not sure if that's how you do a bow and arrow. You hold the thing, and then, yes, you go like that. And then you let go. So you hold the bow and then you pull the arrow. So there's a friction, there's a resistance. You pull it and then you let go. And then the arrow goes. And imagine shooting a bow and arrow. That's the bow you're holding, and then you put the arrow in. And you pull it. You keep that focus. And you let go with a steady hand. I aim and you aim. And then you aim and you get the aim. And you smile. Smiling Sunday. Super soul smiling Sunday. Super soul. A soul smile. A super smile. A holy smile. A sacred smile. How are you choosing to smile today? Enough of the stress. Enough of the anxiety, enough of the worry, enough of the pain, enough of the divorce, enough of the grieving, enough, enough of the fear. I choose to smile today. I choose sacred smile. I choose to activate my soul smile from deep within me to create a quantum healing to create a quantum healing that works, that transforms and transmutes at the same time. Just like the lotus flower that seeds and blooms at the same time. You are creating the alchemy, working with a vibration of smile, a soul smile, a joyful smile, a deep smile from the essence. And to deeply experience it really, Ah, it is a wonderful experience. I've never experienced that soul smile as I did sitting with my friends, connecting with them, working with symbolism, working with numerology, sharing moments of power, listening, empowering each other. And all we did was smile, listening with 
my family, all of them were my family. So I had the chanting family, I had the health family, I had the sacred family, I had the normal family. I had the normal family first and then the sacred family. So it was quite a powerful, smiling process. Now, how could you take this smile into your work, into your relationship? So I'm not saying you're going to work and you're smiling. <laughs> you know, we're talking about a smile that's deep within. So you can be serious, but you're radiating a smile. You could, be, you could be creating a song. You could be doing musical notes. You could be writing a letter. Writing from a smile, a deep sacred smile, changes the vibration. So you want to be angry, you want to make a point, and work with the energy of the divine smile. So when you say something, they hear it. And when you do something, people see it. So I'd like to think that you have seen me hold the energy of the inner smile, the sacred smile, the soul Sunday smile, <laughs> the sacred smile today. Please listen again to this. Allocate time. Maybe light a candle. But even if you happen to have got one lit here for you, I've got the word love here. I've got sacred objects. We're here. And uh, in the corner, which you can't see, I have Jesus Christ. Let me see. Can you see? There's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ the world. Uh, yeah, there he is. I've got Vishnu. I've got wood from Bonju Bay, painted by my students. I've got flame. I've got Ganesh. I've got my guide, Hands of Light. I've got ascended masters all around me and around me in my home. So I have a sacred environment for you that I share from time to time. But it is my space. And then I open it and then I close it. So today, what are you going to smile about? Hello, Kiki Palin, how are you? Hello. Garfino Valchita Gibson. Nice, welcome. What are you going to smile about? Every single person here I think I've met and I know almost, you are all so beautiful. And when you smile, you smile a soul smile. You do that already. So going forward, if you'd like me to, let me know. A soul smiling Sunday. Talking about smiling and working perhaps more deeply the essence of the smiling essence from deep within your body. So I've done some exercises. Please go back and listen to the exercises. And in the exercises, you'll be able to relate to something in your life that will help you to smile through something. And no matter what, come out smiling. Smiling doesn't mean you're weak. Activating the smile within you is your strength. Smiling can motivate you with confidence and courage and knowing and insight. So right now, I'm going to send a smile to every single person here watching this to this point and every single person that created a smile in me and gave me a soul smile from their face in their face in their lips in their mouth in their eyes so starting now
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. My soul smiles at your soul. My essence smiles at your essence. I greet you with my smile. I greet you with my soul smile. I greet you with my smile of joy. I greet you with my alchemical smile. I greet you with my smile of courage. I greet you with a smile of confidence. I greet you with a smile of light. I greet you with a smile of knowing. I greet you. I greet you. Some of our blessings come from ourselves and some of our blessings come from other people. And sometimes these blessings that come from other people to us make people think that we have a lot. But it's because of what you do and how you make another person feel. And then they give you a blessing and people watching from the outside think, how does she do that? How does she always manage? Because the way you make another person feel, they remember it. It's not the words you say, it's the feeling you leave them with. So when you are blessed and they want to bless you, and people wonder, how come she's got this? How come she's got that? The blessing your smile. So your blessings that you receive are from you. But sometimes the blessings are also from other people gracing you with blessings, smiling upon you. Fortune smiles upon you. And people wonder, how does she do that? Why is she there? How come I'm not there? Perhaps we need to look at the way we address other people the way we make them feel. And what feeling do we leave behind when we leave that person? How about leaving a divine smile, a sacred smile, a holy smile? So I've held that the space of 49 minutes. <laughs> I thought it was almost an hour, I was ready to go. So does anyone have any questions? Does anyone want to say anything? Or are you just in the smiling essence, that soul smile? So I'm sending you a healing smile. A healing smile. Sit. Send it here. The whole of smiles healing, but I just want to send you a healing smile right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for joining, thank you for watching.
Thank you for watching later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Share this or better still, tag someone you feel may like this exercise and you could help them with this exercise. And you can share some smiles with people in your network or people you know, so tag them. Share. I am Tilts Replicator with hands of light, smiling at me and smiling within myself and radiating that within myself around me. So just smiling to myself, smiling to myself. So why are you smiling in me and smiling to yourself? And bringing that smiling energy and radiating, perhaps you want to smile into your eyes to heal your catcher, to help you with the operation. I don't know. Breathe in and breathe out. You're really breathing in and feeling that smile and feeling the love. Smiling love, feeling love. Kadoish, 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 Adonai Sabaya. Kadoish, 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 Adonai Sabaya. Kadoish, 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 Adonai Sabaya. Have a great day. Have a great Sunday. <laughs> Have a great day. Whatever day you're watching. It's a good thing. Um, yeah.